Hey guys, I'm back again. My name is Shantanu and today I'm going to take few minutes of yours to talk about a NoSQL platform, a NoSQL database that is Couchbase. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, before get uh, so this is going to be about this video is going to be about how to install uh, Couchbase on Windows platform and we'll highlight you about the few of the key features and fundamentals about uh, Couchbase. So before jumping into installing and getting started with Couchbase Windows, I would like to talk about NoSQL versus SQL. Uh, so NoSQL is uh, Couchbase is Couchbase MangoDB. These are like NoSQL platform SQL server is again uh, SQL based uh, database so what is the difference so SQL is a schema based uh, uh, database wherein you need to before inserting a data into the database you need to have tables and uh, uh, columns however in Couchbase or NoSQL you do not need to have uh, it's a schema list a schema list database which means you do not need to have a table on column to insert or write your data uh, which makes it fast which makes it faster to load because the data input would be in key value or JSON which is the lightest mode of uh, uh, output or input in in uh, yeah so so basically it makes it a lot faster than SQL service that's why you we use SQL uh, no SQL server uh, so let's get started uh, to download SQL uh, no uh, couch base we're gonna d be downloading it from the official um, uh, website installing Couchbase on Windows so a lot of information can be uh, seeked over from here alright um, so we're gonna click on download probably okay so we're gonna wait for it to load up and we're gonna click uh, so 4.6.2 is the latest version I'm gonna click on download I've already downloaded the latest version um, I've already run it so as soon as you click the next next you be prompted with this particular uh, URL so okay before I start setting that up I would like to s how the data is replicated across Couchbase so let's take a very basic example this is your Couchbase cluster Couchbase works on a cluster wide uh, scenario you have these three nodes probably this is node 1 this is node 2 and this is node 3 so whenever you insert your data into the database or into the cluster you insert into the cluster cluster would automatically it's intelligent enough to replicate your data to shard your data across the node so it would it would send the uh, each copy each copy to all the three nodes node 1 2 and 3 uh, if one of the node fails it will automatically uh, rebalance the data between uh, across uh, the rest of the nodes so that's how the the data replication works we're gonna start setting up uh, the, our node our cluster our first cluster now click on next um okay it's guys taking so these are the sample buckets couch base data is stored in a bucket so you can take a uh, uh, default bucket or a sample bucket click on next and uh, just provide few of the information my fictitious company I agree and next um, so I'm gonna give my um, um, one two three four my password so keep keep these information handy because you would be required this when you log in to the Couchbase, um, okay. So okay, uh, we have set our um, we have set just set up our first uh, cluster. If you go to nodes, we can see our node. This is the local IP address of um, of the Couchbase. So if you want to sign in, suppose you want to sign in fresh, either you can click on local host, type in local host, and eight zero followed by eight zero nine one. Couchbase works on this post port so uh, don't forget to uh, allow uh, the traffic from this particular port from the firewall you can click on look uh, type in localhost okay it will show up the same page login page or you can click on your uh, type in your IP address of the server followed by 8091 okay so I'm now I'm gonna type in my username and my password which we have just created 
um, so as soon as you open the cluster you will see health of your node how much ram is available how many disks are there how how is the operations per second how many servers we have how many and a lot of those information server nodes uh, the number of nodes you have in the cluster you can see a lot of telemetry over here ops per second how our watermarks are available if you go over server node you see a lot of a watermark these are for cpu percentage uh, how utilization uh, your uh, cpu utilization being uh, on the cluster swap usage and ram usage you can add the server as well you can add lot as many as node inside your cluster type in your uh, ip address over here followed by the group and your administrator name cba whatever it is and password you can add the number of service so there are four basic services under couchbase that's data wherein you push your data index index is to run your couchbase uh, a bit fast just like your indexes you have in your in your book uh, you refer the page number in the index page and then you go bit uh, go back to that particular um, uh, page so that's that's to make it make the couchbase make the database a bit faster uh, index is being used query services where you run your query like select star from the uh, there is select and read read or write any any crud operation all right um so that was uh, adding query data buckets these are the data buckets i have uh, i'm gonna delete this data bucket i'm gonna create my own um data bucket so let's give it a name like mobile and click on so so your data is basically pushed into your uh, buckets so these are virtual buckets where all your of your data are being pushed query you can run any of the query from here i think i have a query okay let's create a primary index create primary index on mobile and you can execute it it's gonna take okay uh, so it just created a query on uh, my couch base this that was the first query we ran with a unique request id and uh, status as success and if you go to query we can see that it has already uh, created the query so if you go to couchbase and use some other query so let's take i'm not sure if this is going to run successfully or not but still let's give it a try our bucket is mobile so let's replace this with mobile okay oh it did, uh, did something it did something so we have inserted a, 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 a one of the values to our buckets so if you go to mobile and we see documents we should be able to see okay see uh, the same uh, inputs which we just inserted in our airline so that was it uh, the value was k k001 with these information uh, so this is how to run a particular uh, query we have xdcr for cross data center application security create uh, read only users logs most important part where you can refer to all of the couch base logs as well if you go to settings we'll see a lot of uh, handy information over here one of my favorite is alert part where you can alert any of the uh, information uh, like uh, couch base has gone down uh, so if you want to get notified on node was auto failed over maximum number of auto failed over node was read cpu utilization has maxed out if you want to get automated alerts you can configure your alert from here so i'm going to use my outlook email address oops username going to be my outlook password that's going to be my secret password require tls yup use the email address uh, sender email address the same followed by this email hit test mail you should receive a test email uh, so these emails are basically to notify you when something has gone wrong or you want to get notified if your utilization cpu utilization is more than 95 percent or something like that so test mail has been sent if i check my email id i see that i have got an email from couchbase all right that was okay so a lot of other information uh, over here um i think i think that's pretty much it um that's how that's these are the basic features of couchbase uh for more information uh stay tuned to my blog cloud calendar dot 
wordpress.com if you need any particular information any do you have if you have any scenario about around couch base i would be glad to help you out with that